Hey guys, Phil here, hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is my Toxic Green 5500 Sony PlayStation. Now what I want to do today is install one of these. This is a dual frequency oscillator. Now I've already installed one into a 1000 series PlayStation. If you want to watch that video, I'm actually going to detail on how one of these works. I'll put a link in the description below. But what I want to do today, I want to install one into my 5500 series PlayStation. So if you stick around, I'll crack on with that. What I need to do now is obviously strip down the Sony PlayStation down to its motherboard so I can work on it. Now I'm not going to film that guys, the reason for that is I've got so many videos on my channel on how to strip down a Sony PlayStation. I'll put a link in the description below to one. Um, I'm just going over old ground and I don't need filming uh, old ground again. So yeah, I'm going to strip this down to its motherboard uh, and then we can crack on installing the DFO, the dual frequency oscillator. And as you can see, I've got my PlayStation's motherboard all stripped out, ready to go. If you take a look at the model number you can see uh, it's a PU18 and you can probably already notice there's already a couple of mods on there it's got an X station in it and a in-game reset so yeah what I'm going to do now is start installing the DFO dual frequency oscillator I've run into a little bit of an issue here guys um, if you look at the install diagram from consoles unleashed uh, if you look at the PU18 motherboard um, my revision is a little bit different um, and I'll show you what the, the issue is if we take a look at the top part and I'll do it we'll, I'll show you a comparison against the install diagram looks identical it's identical but if we look at this portion of the board it's totally different um, now this is where you get uh, now this should now in the layout I'll show you I'll highlight it there should be a, a little uh, capacitor around about here that you tap into power and ground from from your power and ground here but obviously you can see uh, it's not there on this board um, it's a different layout. So what I've done is I've got my multimeter on continuity. I hope you can hear that. You can hear that beep. Now if we take a look at this connector just here. This is the main input uh, from the power supply. Now the center pin is 3.3 volts. Now this little device here needs 3.3 volts. And it actually says it on the board just there. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt round for 3.3 volts and, I, and I've already gone ahead and done this and I've found it. Um, so here's the input 3.3 volts and if we take a look at this we've got a dead short so that's 3.3 volts. Uh, now if I tap into the ground here so I'm, I'm going on the outer 
edge of the ground this side should be ground and it is it's just that I've not got a good connection there it is there's ground so what I'm going to do is instead of soldering my wires to either side uh, of these two capacitors just here I don't like doing that guys because you know these are small and they may be multi-layer capacitors and you might damage them so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrape away some of the solder mask here and here and then I'll connect my wires to those And there we go, that's my 3.3 volts and that's my ground connection.
And that's it, the dual frequency oscillator is installed. And as you can see, we're all back together. So let's give it a test, let's power on. Hopefully we get a boot. And there we go, we got a boot. So yeah, that dual frequency oscillator is working because obviously it's sending a clock signal to the GPU and if the clock wasn't going to the GPU we won't get any image so uh, yeah that's a successful install and there's 
X station because obviously this is kitted out with an X station but yeah as you can see guys uh, it's working great I hope you liked the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up like comment subscribe all the usual stuff and as always I'll catch you on the next one winner winner it's toxic baby <laughs> catch you next time guys